Hi, this is Dave from Vinyl Nirvana. Today we're going to be replacing the elastic coupling rubbers on a SME Model 3009 Series 2. Um, it's uh, only the Series 2, uh, not the Series 2 Improved, that have this uh, uh, coupling and gasket that often uh, dries out and, and wears over time. Um, this is a repair I've only done once before. Um, so I'm going to just uh, do my best I can, having learned what I did uh, the first time, and try to make this uh, you know, visual and show you the little tricks that helped me uh, to conquer this the first time. Um, you will want to have the uh, uh, surface of the turntable covered because uh, part of what we're going to need to do is have uh, something with benzene in it. So we've got lighter fluid. Um, that I'm going to be using. I've got uh, an air sprayer to help blow out small parts. I've got some safety glasses. Um, I've got the small wrench, uh, Allen wrench, uh, that I need in order to remove the counterweight, which is already removed in this case. I've got some Q-tips, uh, some super glue, a uh, small straight edge screwdriver. Uh, this is a round file. You can probably get away without having this, but I found it useful the first time. Some tweezers, um, a brush, this is a keg brush. Um, I use this uh, for uh, uh, helping to spread the benzene. Uh, and I also have a very thin bladed uh, X-Acto knife. The thin blade uh, came out invaluable uh, last time as it did this uh, small um, thin uh, screwdriver as well. So you're going to find this in various states of disrepair. You're going to find uh, when you go to remove this end of the yarn tube um, that, that you're going to find different situations. So I've already peeked at this one. Oh, by the way, the uh, service sheet is available on Vinyl Engine. Uh, go to the service manual for the 3009 Series 2 and I believe this was page 34. It's called Service Sheet 25. Very, you know, easy to follow directions. What I'm trying to help you with this video is just show some of the tricks that I've uh, learned along the way in doing this. Uh, the parts can be ordered uh, from various SME parts dealers. Uh, here are the two uh, parts that we're actually replacing here. So, uh, again, you need to remove this end arm tube. Uh, in some cases, it might be really stuck with glue. Um, this one was not so bad to remove. Uh, and the first one that I did a few days ago, it uh, really um, just popped right off, came off easily. So here's the tube. And then what you're left with is the remaining rubber gaskets which need to be removed. And in this case, it looks like I'm much luckier than the last time because um, last time I had a lot of the rubber stuff stuck inside this tube and spent a lot of time trying to clean that out. And this time that's fairly uh, clean and it's not going to take as much work uh, as it did uh, the first time. But uh, we're going to uh, again tackle this. Um, the bearings on this, you want to always try to cradle uh, this arm so it's not uh, um, you know, jutting about wildly as you go to do this. You want to uh, exert firm pressure but not overly hard uh, to accomplish all this stuff so that you don't damage the bearings on, on the end of this. So let's see what it's like getting this uh, smaller uh, gasket off first. I'm just going to try to use my fingers and see what's left when I uh, go to remove it working alone on the camera today so hopefully you can see what I'm trying to tackle here. So this one came off in, in almost one piece. There's a little residue of adhesive there that we'll remove with the benzene in a few minutes. So that's uh, good luck with the first piece. I'm going to uh, move the camera in a tiny bit more so you can see me tackle the back of the arm. That's about as close as I can get for you. So we've got this remaining gasket, which is kind of halfway um, in the tube and halfway out. And what I'm going to do is use this uh, X-Acto knife to kind of break the seal of the, uh, of the adhesive as it goes around there before I try to pull it out. I did find the first time I did this that, you know, the, 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 if you can get the bigger parts... Um, you know, it comes out much better in bigger parts than small parts. If you've got a million small parts, you're going to be working at it, working at it, working at it. So I'm going to try to do the best job in preparation before I go to pull this whole thing to try to make it come out in one piece. And, you know, we'll see how successful I am with that. So I'm going around the whole 
tube with the exacto knife pushing it in um, I'd say about a quarter of an inch just trying to break that seal of the adhesive so when I go to remove this it's going to come out as much as possible in one piece again I had terrible luck with my first arm uh, this basically broke off in the tube so I had half of it I had to clean out of the tube and I had the other half I had to clean out of the end of the arm as I'm as I'm doing right now but it was just a you know it was just a stub it was it was uh, it really took a long time much longer than I anticipated it was going to take so I wish you uh, whoever's watching this luck in having it come out as in one big piece rather than two pieces stuck inside of tubes Okay. again I have not tried to pull this out at all right now I'm just trying to loosen the adhesive I can feel that happening every time I push the exacto one I can feel it getting a little bit looser oops lost my blade I think these YouTube videos um, I can make to be 10 minutes long so at some point I will have to check the time and probably stop this and tackle it again okay so I've gone around with the blade and now I'm going to go around with the uh, uh, small straight screwdriver and try to break it even more. Um, I did find that if you put a lot of pressure on your instrument as you go to, into this tube, you can actually uh, damage the edge of the tube. So, uh, you know, take it easy that you're not exerting too much pressure. Oh, I can really feel this loosening now. This is great. So, I'm going to just go around once with the straight screwdriver and then I'm gonna try my luck and see what comes out of the tube got this one hinge in the way here that's kinda hampering me a little bit in one part of this but okay I'm gonna try my luck here wish me luck I'm gonna use the screwdriver to pry it and we'll see what we can get out of the tube the more we can get out in one piece, the better off we're going to be in terms of cleaning. Okay, I'm twisting now. Twisting. Oh, it's coming out great. So much better than the first one. This is, I can see almost the whole gasket. My first gasket came out in, you know, at least a hundred pieces. It was bad. So this is, this is great. Doing much better than last time. The inside of this is fairly clean. I can just see uh, glue residue but no gasket residue so I, I'm really uh, lucking out in removing both of these pieces today uh, this could possibly take you uh, much longer to do. Okay I'm gonna check the video time and probably stop it and we're gonna have a part two